Hi, it's Nancy. This is the first time I've done the project that I'm going to show you today, so it's taken me a little while to figure it out. Um, what you're going to need is glue with a bit of water mixed into it and a paintbrush. If you have a big paintbrush, that makes this a little bit easier. You're going to need some kind of a container here, which is I already started, is a Pepsi bottle that I cut the lid off of. I suggest you do that before you start the project. I also put a little tape around the edge of it just so that the edge isn't really sharp and nobody can get hurt. So for this one I used a soda bottle. You can also use a jar if you like. It's not a problem. You can do that as well. What I strongly suggest is that you find a magazine or something to cut images out of and cut the images out first because I was trying to cut while I was making it. Eh, didn't really work. So you want to cut your images out first, so you're going to need a scissors for that, and the glue, the container, and that's pretty much it. So this project is going to be a little bit messy. It may be um, that your person doesn't like to get their fingers sticky, so meh, we'll struggle. <laughs> we'll, we'll struggle with that. We'll try to figure it out. The easier it is to glue on, the less messy this project gets. So using magazines is a really good idea. Um, I didn't have magazines. I only had a book cover, a book album, a book jacket. There we go. I only had a book jacket. And so the, the cardstock that it's on is, is pretty thick, and that makes it a little bit harder for to glue it on. And we don't want to make it complicated. We want to make it as easy as possible for you, so I strongly suggest using magazines. Um, it takes a little while sometimes to get the paper to lay down, right? And you want to go ahead and just use the glue right on top of the image when you water it down a little bit. Most glues come, come out clear, so your image is going to be clear when you're finished with it. So. You're going to have to go over it a few times and kind of fuss with it a little bit. It's a little bit fussy project, but it does take some time and concentration, and the product that you get at the end is pretty cool. So starting with something that's pretty beautiful uh, does help. <laughs> I... Um, yeah, I love this Frida Kahlo work, so it makes it more fun for me to to make this project. So you put some glue on, just stick the picture onto that. You can layer them on top of each other if you like. Um, put the glue right on top of it. So this is a project that whoever you're working with, a person with dementia, is definitely going to need your help and supervision. It's something for you guys to do together. It's probably not the best idea in the world to use photographs, although you might be tempted to do that because photographs are just far too thick to stick to the bottle. So that's been my big problem today is getting things to stick to a bottle. Um, if you're willing to tackle that, with your person with dementia, yeah, do it. <laughs> Another thing I was thinking about was, you know, in addition to using a bottle, is that you could, you could use some kind of a box, like a, some kind of a cardboard box that has a lid on it, and that way you could decoupage onto the box. Could be a little bit easier than this slippery plastic surface here. So I'm having to slow down with you guys, and and the reality is that when you're doing things with the person with dementia, you you really need to slow down and give the person time to do whatever it is you want them to do, and also just remember that it takes longer for the person to do most things especially something new like this that they've never done before. But I think you're going to find it 
it's a pretty successful project and one that you can do over and over. And you know, if, if they're asking why are we doing this, you can just say something, oh, you know, we're making gifts for someone. And it's, it's actually, it could be a nice gift for someone. So you can continue on doing your project. I'm going to show you one of these when I'm finished with it. And thanks for stopping by, and let me know how it goes for you. Send me a photo. Caring Kind, 646-744-2900. You can look at our website, or you can email us at helpline at cknyc.org. Thank you. Enjoy. This is the part of the video where they say, Four hours later, uh, I told you earlier <laughs> that I had never done this project before, so I was not aware of how long it takes. So this project is a project that you can work on over several days or even, let's say, a week, just doing a little bit at a time. I've been sitting here for, you know, an hour or so. I did pick up my ribbons and started to glue my ribbons on there, you know, as an addition to this. Uh, it takes a bit of patience, and like I said, it's a perfect project to do over time. Just gluing a few pictures on today, maybe gluing a few pictures on tomorrow, maybe getting out your ribbons and trying to put some of them on. It's a... Uh, time-consuming and you have to have a lot of patience <laughs> to want to do it but hey it's here if you can do something like this that would be fantastic thanks a lot